friends, fellow beer geeks. I'm Wes, the Craft Beer Geek, and welcome to another Craft Beer Geek beer review. Today we're looking at another one of these beers from Blue Point Brewing out of New York. This is a very rare beer for them, uh, only available at the tasting room there in Long Island, New York. This is their Jingle Mingle. It is a barrel-aged imperial stout with sour cherries. It comes in at 11.4% alcohol by volume, 31 IBUs, and as I said, a very limited release, only available at the tap room and brewery. Uh, so I'm really excited to give this one a try. I'm really sorry I wasn't able to do this review before Christmas. A lot of things came up around Christmas time and I just was not able to do any videos whatsoever for the couple weeks leading up to and after Christmas. Uh, but I do want to get this review done. So if you happen to be in the, the Long Island area uh, for Christmas time next year and maybe you want to stop by the brewery and give this one a taste for yourself. So let's get this one cracked open into a glass and see what it is all about. And as I said in my last video for Blue Point, uh, they did send me this beer free of charge, just to let you know about that. I am not able to get to this beer by myself. Thank you, Blue Point, for sending that out. Okay, so for the Jingle Mingo from Blue Point Brewing Imperial Stout. In the nose, I'm definitely getting the cherries. I'm getting some chocolate, some milk chocolate. Uh, cherries and also a slightly boozy nose. It has almost the the note of like a an alcoholic chocolate covered cherry kind of nose on here. Uh, the head, of course, dissipated pretty rapidly on this one, being uh, over over 11%. Very very dark. Not seeing any light coming through on this one. So uh, I'm ready to go ahead and give this one a taste. Let you know what I think. Cheers. Yeah, the taste follows the flavor quite well. I'm getting a lot of that cherry, cherry liqueur kind of flavor mixed with some milk chocolate kind of flavors. Uh, and these are aged in rush in uh, these are aged in bourbon barrels, I should say. Or this is aged in bourbon barrels, so you do get that bourbon boozy kind of note to it. Slightly sweet, but not clangly sweet. This is a sipping kind of beer. This is not something you want to take big chugs of. Uh, something definitely something you probably want to share with others. I do really like that candy-like flavor that it has, almost like this is a cherry chocolate candy, uh, liquor, cherry chocolate liqueur kind of candy. And even though it doesn't have much head retention, it does have a, a nice amount of carbonation. Uh, it doesn't just sit on your tongue. It is is kind of active when it hits your tongue, so that's really nice to help to help with this, uh, such a strong beer to give it a little bit of, of, a, of an action to it. I guess you could say a little bit of a bubbly effervescence to it is nice. Uh, as I say, definitely a sipping kind of beer. Definitely something you don't want to take a large amount of, something that would be great for sharing with a couple people. So yeah, with that being said, I think I'm going to cap the rest of this beer and save it. Maybe I'll have it later on tonight or tomorrow. I uh, definitely don't want to drink this all in one sitting by myself. Definitely too too strong of a beer, but really nice. And uh, if you're looking for something candy, holiday kind of flavors, uh, something stronger, something to sip, uh, probably not something you want to have with a meal, probably something you just want to sip and enjoy and, and drink at night. And uh, when you're just sitting around the Christmas tree or sitting around the fireplace or whatever it may be, a uh, really nice holiday kind of beer here. Or I guess just sip and enjoy while you're there at the tasting room. I uh, don't know if they sell bottles of this in the tasting room. Uh, but hopefully they do so you can take it home and enjoy it with, you, uh, with your family and friends. Uh, so for some final thoughts and to wrap up this review of Blue Point's Jingle Mingle. Yeah, definitely a very chocolatey, cherry, liqueur kind of candy-like flavor to this beer. Really enjoyable. It's a sipping kind of beer. Like it quite a bit though. It's not it's not too sweet. It's not too boozy. It, it, it's it's really well done. It's got a nice it's got a nice balance of of chocolates, 
cherries and the bourbon sort of wintry kind of things. Uh, maybe they could work in some spices in here as well. I don't know how well that might just muddy it up or not. Uh, but it's a good beer as it is. So with that being said, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for the Jingle Mingle from Blue Point Brewing. like this one quite well. As I said, if you're near the brewery, happen to stop in there in the holiday season, definitely check this one out. Give it a try. I think you might like it. Uh, definitely a really interesting holiday ale. So with that being said, thanks for watching this episode of the Craft Beer Geek. If you like this review, you can find lots more at craftbeergeek.com. All my reviews end up posted there by brewery as well as by beer style. So if you're looking for a particular particular beer, a particular style, particular brewery, whatever it may be, you can probably find it there as well as some other news and notes related to the craft beer and craft brewing industry. Thank you for watching this episode. If you'd like to support my shows, you can find amazon.com shopping links in the show notes below on YouTube or on the right hand side of the page on craftbeergeek.com. Uh, I get a small commission from anything you purchase using those links. It doesn't cost you any extra to use those links, so it's a really easy way for you to help support the show. Thank you for that in advance. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for any comments. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, and we'll see you again next time. Cheers. Remember, I don't drink bad beer. You shouldn't either. Cheers. <laughs>